Good day, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. Uh, this is Rob Mazak. I am a psychic medium, uh, and I am currently uh, at the uh, place where I do my practice primarily. That's a Red Feather Healing over in Universal City. Awesome little store, and uh, great, great energy here. Anyway, I want to take a moment to um, share a little bit about a meditation that I had last night. And so I started a... Um, graduate degree program in transpersonal psychology and part of the assignment is to meditate daily trying different types of meditation techniques and uh, this first one is one that I'm pretty familiar with but it talks about uh, well the title of it or the tagline of it is uh, taking the one seat it's simply talking about really sitting with yourself nothing fancy no crystals no sage no incense no music just simply sitting and and letting the messages come in that need to come in and, and working through whatever it is that you're being given. And this is something that I do routinely. It's kind of the normal way I do it. However, I, I kind of went into this with a little bit different intent because it was an assignment. I'm like, Ooh, this, this should be good, right? Anyway, um, so uh, I wanted to share that with you. And so I tried to figure out if I could summarize this, uh, but I'm basically going to have to read what I wrote. I wrote this down directly after I was uh, received a message, and it, it came out really very interesting and something I kind of thought about before, but not really, not really so much in the words that I was given. So anyway, here we go. So uh, I was uh, immediately taken to this dark place, right? Darkness, and uh, and and I could kind of see, if you will. Um, energy or shadows and shapes moving around in the dark. And so the message is as follows. The darkness is part of all living things and is a necessary part of life. The darkness contains the base material of existence and all the necessary nutrients for the development of our soul. Here we find nourishment in the place where we need to go when we die to ourselves or the idea of what we think we are. We must continuously die to ourselves to reset and expand within the light. We cannot separate the darkness and the light because each aspect of these is necessary to balance our existence. When we die to ourselves, we become a much better and different version of ourselves. Just like the seed that is planted in the ground only to emerge into the light, but still always connected to the darkness for that vital nourishment. For in the darkness we find life. We find out who we really are because we cannot rely on what we are or what we see, but find that we must trust and connect to the source through our minds. In the darkness, we thrive on the pure connection to the universe because that is all there is. Our only choice is to channel the true source through our consciousness. When we emerge into the light, we must remember that without the connection of the darkness, our existence will not thrive. Some think that being in the light is the ultimate goal, but the true goal, true goal rather, is to be able to expand into the light while maintaining that connection with the darkness. We simply cannot exist with only the darkness or the light. We must have both in a perpetual balance. And so I want to kind of caveat that message. Uh, seems pretty powerful if you ask me. A lot of people look at darkness as a bad thing, but but in reality. We all need that. We all are going to have those days and those times in our lives where, where we just need to fall back within ourselves and, and reset and reevaluate and relook at, at, at what's within. And so I just want to say that it's, it's okay to have those bad days. It's okay to have those times in life where things seem dark and seem bad and seem rough. But in reality, we need that to help balance us help balance our life because if it was all dark or if it was all light it would be completely uh what's the right word we wouldn't be able to thrive we wouldn't be able to live really and we wouldn't be able to to operate this human body this meat suit that we have effectively right so we always have to have uh, a connection to the darkness and the light so anyway i wanted to take a moment to share that and and, and i'm sure Somebody out there really needs to hear that. I, I really needed to hear that. So, because I, I feel like I I have to be in the light or 
connected or, or, or balanced all the time. And it's just, it really is impossible. I mean, everybody needs to reset. Everybody needs to rest, you know, at all levels, at mental, spiritual, physical, all the above, right? So we need to die to ourselves, so to speak, sometimes on a daily basis in order to uh, maintain that balance with the light. Anyway, uh, I will be here till 7 this evening. Uh, if you want to come by and say hi, talk to me, you know, and uh, and see what we can do to help you on your journey. Uh, so we're uh, located here at 2041 Universal City Boulevard in Universal City. It's on the um, the far east side of San Antonio. So it's kind of in San Antonio, but not. Anyway, uh, and I'll also be here tomorrow from 11 to 7 as well. So come on by and see me. You can also look at my website if you like. It's uh, mazakets.com, M-A-Z-A-K-E-T-S.com. There you'll find everything you need to contact me or see what... Uh, what it is I, I provide for services. So anyway, you guys have an awesome day. And if I don't talk to you again, or you don't see me again until the new year. Happy New Year's. Have a good day.